Okay, so now we're going to talk about matrix multiplication. All right, so suppose we've got two matrices, A and B, and uh, we need to uh, we need to have their order. Uh, so they're let's say the matrix A has order M by N, and matrix B has order N by R. Okay, so M by N, N by R. Make note, in order to multiply matrices, so these two numbers have to be equal. If they are not equal, then we cannot multiply these two matrices together. All right, so what we're going to do at the very beginning is going to write out the order of each matrix right up top, and then we're going to um, determine if these two inside numbers here are the same. If they are, then we can multiply them, and we'll get a new matrix, C, and it will have order M by R. So this right here, M by R, is what the new dimensions of C will be. All right, so that's the plan. Uh, I think some examples will help us see what uh, what's going on. All right, so A times B. Now, this is a two by two. This B is also a two by two. Those two inside numbers are the same. So yay, we're excited. We can actually multiply these together. All right, so I would write matrix A first, two, negative one, one, four, and then matrix B right next to it, zero, one, three, eight. All right, and so the resultant matrix will be a another two by two, right? So this is going to be a two by two as well. So we have four entries to find. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right, so that's what we need to find. Now, in order to find them, uh, there is a little pattern that's going to come into play here. All right, so let's find this first entry right here. So we need to make note what row and what column we are on. Right. So this would be row one, column one. That's the, to get this spot right here. Everybody with me? Okay. So now come back over here to your two matrices A and B. You want for the from the left matrix, you want whatever row that you want. So if we're at row one, we're going to want row one. And from the right matrix, you're going to want whatever column that you need. Well, if you're in the first column, then you're going to want this first column here. Follow me? All right, so for the left matrix, you use whatever row that you need. For the right matrix, you use whatever column that you need. And then you take your fingers, all right? You're going to get your fingers up. Okay. Take the left finger and put it to the beginning of the row that you want. So that would be right here on this two, all right? Then take your right finger and put it on the right matrix there, put it on, to, uh, put it at the top of the column that you want to use, which would be that zero right there. With me? Okay. Multiply those two numbers together. That gives you what? That gives you zero. Okay, so hold on to zero for a second. Now our fingers are going to move. The left finger is going to move across, while the right finger is going to move down, and they move at the same rate. All right? So here we go. We have 2 times 0 is 0, then our fingers move. See how that happened? Multiply those together. Negative 1 and 3 multiply together give you a negative 3. Everybody cool? All right, so here we've got 2 times 0 is 0, and here we've got negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. You add those numbers together. So we're going to go 2 times 0 is 0 plus negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, so 0 plus negative 3 is a negative three, and that's what goes in that spot right there. All right, so let's do this one right here. What row are we on? Well, we're on the first row, so we're gonna need this first row, but now we're on the second column, so we're gonna need this second column from our right matrix here. So put your fingers in place, all right? F left uh, finger goes to the beginning of the row you want, so we're left of the first row. Right finger goes to the top of the column you want, so now we're in the second column, and you multiply them up. 2 times 1 is 2, and then your fingers move. Negative 8, so we have 2 plus negative 8, which would be negative 6, is what goes in that spot right there. Okay, try this last row. What row and what column do we need? Well, we want the second row this time and first column. So you put your fingers in place. You go, all right, that's 0 plus 12, which would be 12. And then to get this last entry, you're in row 2, 
column two. So put your fingers in place and go, right, that's one plus 32, so that gives you 33. See how that happened? All right, and so this is the new matrix when you multiply A and B together. So what about B times A? Let's do B times A. All right, so we'll this time we'll put B first, which would be 0, 1, 3, 8, and then A, 2, negative 1, 1, 4. See, all right, this is a two by two, this is a two by two. Yay, these two numbers are the same, so we can multiply them together. All right, and your resultant matrix is also going to be another two by two. All right, so again, we're gonna have four spots to find. All right, but this time it's B times A, so that's when we have B on the left and A on the right. All right, so they get this first number right here. You're in row one, column one. So left finger at the beginning of the row that you want. And remember, the left matrix is the row that you want. The right matrix is the column that you want. So your, your um, right index finger goes to the top of the column you want. Multiply those together. Zero, then your fingers move, plus one. So that would be a one. And then to get this uh, second entry right here, we're going to have uh, the first row, finger in the first spot, second column, so index finger goes to the second column, multiply together, zero, then your fingers move, plus four, so that would be four. Then to get this uh, entry right here, you're now you're in the second row, so at, th um, at the beginning of row two, put your left finger, and you're at your first column, so put your fingers in place, and go. Three times two is six plus eight times one is eight. So six plus eight is fourteen. All right. And then the last number. What do you get? Fingers in place. You get row one, row two, column two. So negative three plus thirty-two, which would be twenty-nine. And that would be b times a. And then we note, hey, a times b does not equal B times A. So order makes a huge difference. Right? It matters which matrix is first and which matrix is second. So make sure you get them down right, properly with whatever's the left matrix, whatever's the right matrix, and then see if you can multiply them together. And if you can, then you go out and you find them. Right? I want to do one more. All right, A times B. Again, rewrite A and B. And then look at their dimensions. All right, so this would be uh, three by two. This would be a two by two. These numbers are the same. We say, yay, we can multiply them together. And this time we're going to get a three by two matrix over here. All right. So this time we have six entries to find. Follow me. Okay, and then you go. We're in row one, column one. So fingers in place, row one, column one, six plus two. So that would be eight. And then to get this entry right here, put your fingers in place, first row, second column. So three plus negative six would be negative three. And then to get the second row here, here the second row, first column. So left finger on the second row, right finger on the first column, negative two plus five, which would be three. And then to get the uh, second row, second column, fingers in place, negative one times one is negative one, then your fingers move, plus negative 15, so that would be a negative 16. And then to get this last row down here, you get zero plus one is one, and zero plus negative three is negative three. All right, so just make sure that um, you get the left finger goes to the beginning of the row that you want, and your right finger goes to the top of the column that you want in order to get whatever entry you're looking for. All right. All right. So what about what about b times a in this case? All right. So this would be a two by two, and this would be a three by two, and those two um, um, <coughs> and those two numbers are not the same, so we cannot multiply them together. Can't do b times a. All right, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. All right, and that's because your fingers need to have uh, the same number of, of places to move. Right? They have to move the same number of times because they're moving at the same time. So you can't have one finger have more rows or columns to go to than the other. Right? And that's why we need these two numbers here to be the same. All right, practice up. Get your fingers in place and go. That's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.